I don't need him. I'm attractive. There must be a million cute guys out there. Of course, they're all idiots. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going to Delta Brook myself right off this show. Julie! Julie! Candace is having a cow! Michelle, you can't let these network people make you crazy. Just relax. Breathe. Have a pastry. But Candace says that... Michelle, it's over forever. Oh. Candace fired you? No, I mean Aldo. He broke up with me. Oh, you didn't ask him for a commitment, did you? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, that's what I do when I want to get rid of somebody. <laughs> Good work, Michelle, you found her. Oh, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Julie, I need you in makeup. <gasps> I'm sorry if I'm pressuring you. No, it's not that, it's Aldo. Oh, Mr. Euro Trash. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Jeff, if you were my boyfriend, would you break up with me just because I asked you for a commitment? Well, personally, Julie, I am looking for commitment in a relationship. So why isn't Aldo? Could be he's an emotional dwarf. <laughs> I know, but he's gorgeous. Julie, can you go on? Because Brant can fill in. He's memorized your opening monologue. She's fine, Candace, aren't you? I'm a professional. I don't bring my personal problems to work. Of course you don't. You're all circus, Julie. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a show to direct. I'm fine, Candace. I'm, I'm just, I'm just fine. <laughs> Memo to head of programming, Julie becoming emotionally unstable. So what do you think? Was I wrong? Was it so stupid to ask for a commitment? Uh, 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 close your mouth, Julia. I gotta do your lips. Julie, can we talk? No, I can't talk now to Darlette. I have a confession to make. As the network executive in charge of steering the show towards greatness, I am baffled. I don't know what it's about. You just go out there and babble. People love it when I babble. Well, that might be your opinion, dear, but the entire show does not revolve around you. And now, Julie Brown, the show! Live from CBS Television City in Hollywood, Miss Julie Brown! <laughs> show for you tonight. 
we're going to explore a subject that I personally find really fascinating, the human potential for change. And of course, when you think of change, you think of changing your looks, changing your weight, changing the men in your life. And who's done that more than anybody? Liz Taylor! <laughs> Liz Taylor, right! And she's gonna be here tonight. Eat your heart out, Arsenio. <laughs> blonde, extra pretty, Susan Anton. Miss Susan Anton. She's going to show us how she got so tall. And the garage band. Oh, so cute, but they're not my type. Well, we know what type you like. I guess I'm singing. When I need something to help me unwind, I find a six foot with a one-track mind Smart guys are nowhere They make demands Give me a moron With talented hands I go bar hopping And I say last call I start shopping for a Neanderthal The big lick come the hall something. <laughs> so let's kick off the evening with our field trip to the Hollywood School of Spirit Channeling. You'll meet an ordinary housewife who actually changes into John Wayne. <laughs> yes, it's, it's unbelievable. And the Duke said some pretty amazing things about my career. He said that I would be the happiest girl in show business. And because of you, I am. <laughs> Let's watch this. And we're clear. <laughs> oh, oh, Julie, Julie, are you okay? I'm fine, just Some fine. Water. Do you want me to take over now? Go away. <laughs> Julie, what's the problem? What do you want? I just want what everybody else wants. I want to be married and have a baby and a fabulous Hollywood life. <laughs> I mean, if Melanie Griffith can have it all, why can't I? Julie, can we discuss this later? Maybe over coffee? Jeff, do you find me attractive as a man? I mean, as a man, do you find me attractive? Yes, Julie, I find you extremely attractive. Oh, thank you, Jeff. up his hair? I know I do. <laughs> Wasn't that John Wayne woman amazing? Oh, when I heard her say, listen up, Pilgrim, I got chills. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Our theme for tonight is change. Oh, I can relate to that. I've been through a lot of changes. I, you may not believe this, but I wasn't always such a warm, sensitive guy. No. I've opened up. I've become more aware. Aware of what? Well, I've learned that women have feelings, too. And I guess what I'm proudest of is that I've, I've learned to cry. Oh, that's so sweet, Bran. Yeah. Everyone loves that. But hang on, because it's time for Brant's locker room. What's your topic? Car phones. Innocent toy for the rich or highway hazard? <gasps> Can't wait. <laughs> Catch you later, Jules. Okay, fellas, let's mosey on over to the old locker room. Rhonda, it's been 15 minutes and Aldo hasn't called. He did mean forever, didn't he? Ay. Okay, Julie, do you want to find a husband? It might take a little miracle. <clears throat> this is a holy picture of Santo Rodolfo de Camarillo. It's been blessed. You put him in your shoe and you say, Santo Rodolfo, you are going to stay in my shoe till you bring me a husband. <laughs> Is this how you met your husband? Nah, I picked him up at a disco. Julie, a few things. Now, I know it must be hell being with a man who sees other women and really doesn't love you. <laughs> Remember, find Julie a really good therapist. Well, thanks, 
for Karen, Candace, but I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Out with it, Michelle. Elizabeth Taylor canceled! Oh. <laughs> she was getting dressed and she, she, she tripped over an electrical cord and chipped a tooth and then she swallowed the chip and, and she choked on it. And then when the paramedics, they administered the Heimlich maneuver, they, they, they threw her back out. Now they're, 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 they're rushing her to the hospital. <laughs> We're gonna have to run your Michael Jackson interview. You can't run that tape. I didn't even talk to Michael. If you run that, it'll make me look like a total goofball. Julie, that's the last thing I'd want to do. But as the network, I can't just go with dead air. I've got to cue up that Michael Jackson remote. Well, she just thinks she's the queen of CBS. <laughs> Memo to myself, get a personality. Back in one minute, Julie. What am I gonna do? Okay, okay, I can sing again. Yeah. I'll do the homecoming queen's got a gun. Yes. <laughs> no, too weird for CBS. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't need Liz Taylor to do a good show. It's called Julie Brown, the show, right? They came to see me and that's what they're gonna get, me. And lots of me and... And just me and no Michael Jackson, what am I gonna do? When in doubt, more eyeshadow. <laughs> How am I gonna get away with this Michael Jackson tape? Oh, I'm sorry it has to be this way, Julie, but you know, a TV show is a lot like a roller coaster. You, well, maybe not a lot, but it's a little like a roller coaster. <laughs> You get on, and once you're on, you, you can't get off. You're there for the ride. It has its ups and its downs. Usually it's fun, unless you've just had a big meal recently, and then it's... Yeah, we're back in Excuse me. I, ha I have to go direct now. <laughs> well, I know a lot of us came here tonight to see Liz Taylor. I have been waiting to meet her my whole life. She's my idol. She's I just been wanna, my... I just want to drown in those violet eyes of hers. I'm so excited, I just may cry again. <laughs> well, here you go, Brant. She canceled. <laughs> those of us who love Liz, as we all do, know how accident-prone she is. It's her back again. I, I know, and we all wish her a very speedy recovery. But there's good news. Michael Jackson's going to be on the show. Um, not in person, not tonight. But, but I do have a videotape that some network people did not even want you to see. I haven't even seen this. We shot it this morning. And I think it will show how hard I try to bring the stars into your homes and to get into theirs. <laughs> Roll tape. Come on, Brent. Uh, yeah. Uh. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Do I? Oh, look at that. Do you believe that? And my hair would be frizzy hair. He's leaving. Turn the camera on. Is it on? Turn it on. Come on. Hi, Michael. It's me, Julie Brown. You know, from Julie Brown, the show, like Star Trek, the motion picture. Stop, driver. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Julie Brown. Hi, what's your name? Look, lady, you're going to have to reschedule. Well, um, um, have you worked for him long? No comment. Have you had plastic surgery? No comment. Hi, Michael. It's Julie Brown. Hi. He's still in there. Go find out, Brent. Go. Go, yeah. Yeah, go. <laughs> yes. Now Michael Jackson will be on the show. <laughs> I promise you, Michael Jackson, and I'm going to deliver Michael Jackson. <laughs> Julie is a very lucky girl. Now she has me fetching monkeys. You don't see Dan Rather carrying around any monkeys. 
Johnny Carson built his career relating to animals. Who do you want to be, Dan or Johnny? <laughs> and now while we're waiting for the chip, let's meet Susan Anton. if we traded places. Why? Oh, well, this couch just doesn't work with my dress. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Susan, oh. you're so tall, so blonde. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so glad to be on your show tonight. You know, you're talking about change, and I'm out promoting yeah. my fitness tapes about health and fitness and change. Yeah. And, and I brought you a T-shirt, Julie, Well, here. thanks. We'll get to Enjoy. that later. Um, <laughs> now... Susan, you were Miss California in 1969, weren't you? Yes, You know, I so much wanted to watch that pageant, but my mother wouldn't let me stay up that late. <laughs> and <laughs> I remember crying in my crib. It must have been really magical. <laughs> yes, it, I'm sorry you uh, didn't get to stay up for it. And they didn't even have videotape then, did they? <laughs> no, but we do have videotape now. Well, we'll my get to that. Um, now, you're about to go on a, t a world tour with Kenny Rogers, is that right? Well, yes, I, I have a hit record, and I'm really looking forward to working with Kenny. He's so wonderful. He's so wonderful. I, I think he's yeah. incredible. Is it going to be just you and Kenny, like, just you two? Like, oh, well, no, his band and my band, you know, and the, the, all the guys that set up the lights. I mean, there's a lot of people that but go on the But you get road. to be alone a lot, right? Oh, well, not really. You know, it's, it, when you work like that, you hardly ever really see well, each other. Well, I just, just... want to say, Susan... Be really careful. I mean, you know what happened to Bruce Springsteen and Spatty, Patty Sklidoff or whatever her name was. I mean, you, you know, you just got to be really careful because, you know, the next thing you know, you're on the cover of People magazine as the other woman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, be well. Be real careful because they always use bad headshots, too. So, uh, now, now. <laughs> My tapes. Have I told you about my tapes? Well, you know, Julia. I know you probably want to, like, show us some exercises from the tapes or something, but you're probably not wearing underwear, so better not. <laughs> you know, Julie, <laughs> call me crazy, but I am sensing just a little hostility here. Now, would you like to talk about it? Okay, fine, I will, Susan. You know... <laughs> this but a few years back uh, I was dating someone and I brought him to a party of yours uh, yes he's famous he's famous let's just call him Warren okay and um, I, I took him to your house and and he broke up with me for you do you remember that three years ago yeah yes I remember this party because someone set a fire in my bathroom <laughs> Well, that's just the kind of thing that happens at that kind of party, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I guess I shouldn't even be mad at you because, I mean, he was such a nut. He was such a problem. I mean, he was... I found him to be very weird, very cheap. I couldn't... Yes! Go... He would, like, not have any money for the valet parker. Oh, yes! he did that to you, too? Yes, he did! And dinner. I mean, I couldn't believe it. You know, he would always he'd reach in for his wallet and he'd always say, Oh, whoops, I left it at home. You that too? happened so many oh! times, I don't believe it! Oh, what a sleaze. Oh, this guy. I know, totally. I know. And then, did he do that thing to you, you know, when you were, like, you know, you know, oh. did he make you do that thing? Oh, the thing? The <laughs> thing? Oh, the thing. Ew! 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 your monkey back, you're going to have to come on down to the show. <laughs> then you and Bubbles can be reunited on the air. Oh, if everybody wants to see Michael, let's really hear it. Yeah. How can he resist you? I'm sure he's coming. Next
next week we'll also meet people who in their past life met Shirley MacLaine in her past life. <laughs> and Debbie Gibson will be here. <laughs> Not excited about Debbie Gibson? <laughs> She's not gonna sing, but she is gonna show us how she makes those hats for under a dollar. <laughs> and of course, the amazing Michael Jackson. See you then. I don't believe it. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. 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 Relationship crisis and there's monkey do all over my clothes. <laughs> now what? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll come oh, back later. No, Jeff, Jeff, come in. <sighs> wow, Julie, I, I really admire the way you're able to just let your emotions out like this. <laughs> I didn't do this. Bubbles did. Oh, oh, good, good. You had me worried there for a minute. <laughs> but this is how I feel. Okay, I'm worried. Oh, Jeff, I try so hard. What am I doing wrong? Julie, Julie, you're, you're, you're doing great. Just great. Much better than uh, the Punky Brewster show, even. I know I should be thrilled, but it's just not enough. Not without someone to come home to, like Aldo. When could you ever go home to Aldo? I could go to the restaurant. I always had my own table right by the window. Julie... I think you could do much better than Aldo. I mean, you're, you're just, you're, you're, you're just terrific. And you, you deserve somebody who would like you for you. I mean, sure, maybe they're not the greatest looking guy in the world, but they thought they had a chance they could lose a few pounds. Maybe, I don't know, get some Italian sweaters. Or... Aldo had the greatest Italian sweaters. Well, English sweaters then. You, you deserve somebody who would cherish you, Julie. Maybe you're right, but who am I going to have dinner with right now? How about me? Jeff. Why not? I know this terrific little Thai place right around the <laughs> corner. Hello? Oh, Aldo, it's you. No, I'm fine, just fine. You are? You do? Well, maybe I... No, I can't. I'm having dinner with a friend. No, you don't know. His name's Jeff. Jeff Goldner. No, I can't possibly cancel. That's just the way it is. Goodbye. Julie, you, you passed up Aldo for me? I can't believe you would do something so... so healthy. Sometimes I'm so healthy, I scare myself. <laughs> Come on. Time